This will be a short NIM Vital quick start video. Once you first turn on your NIM Vital, you use this button here on the bottom right hand corner to turn it on. It will come up to this main screen here. Once it's on its main screen here, you're going to want to select the profile that you're going to want to use. So it's set to default profile and then you're going to select the different type of procedure that you want to do. It's set up for neurotology, head and neck and peripheral. So let's say we're wanting to do a thyroid case. So we're going to hit head and neck. And then here are all different sub procedures that go under head and neck. For example, parotid, neck dissection or thyroid. So again, let's pick thyroid. We pick thyroid and now it's asking us to undock our patient interface. This system comes with a wireless patient interface, which uses Bluetooth technology. So we're going to undock the patient interface. Once we undock the patient interface, we're going to notice that that red square that was here went green. That means that it has seen our patient interface. Once we get to this portion here, we can now proceed to the next step. The next step is going to be to hit the arrow and now it's going to go to our connecting our electrodes. So for a thyroid, we're using an uh, endotracheal tube. So the electrodes from the endotracheal tube are going to have to be connected to the interface. Again, your blue on the blue channel, the red on the red channel, your green ground, and your return electrode get connected. They will flash if there's, not con there's nothing connected and, and the system is asking for that connection. Once you have everything connected, they'll go solid. Also, you'll get green marks here to let you know that everything is connected on the patient interface. Once you get those green check marks on the patient interface, then you can go ahead and proceed to the next step. The next step would also be to locate your NIM in an area in the, in the OR room where it's not near any other electrical piece of equipment as you can get interference. So you want it to be plugged into its own outlet and you want to place it either at the head or at the foot of the bed. The patient interface, you want to place it on the bed rail or somewhere where no one is going to be rubbing up against it. Once you're finished with that part of the, of the procedure, you just hit this arrow to go next. And now you're in your main monitoring screen and you can continue with your procedure.